guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our test server on our free to play account and the joyous summons is up. That is right guys, log in for three days, you get 100 free summons, which is absolutely crazy. That means you're gonna get some elites out of here. Hopefully you're gonna pull some legendary heroes out of here with the scrolls that you're picking up. So day one, we did pick up 20 scrolls right there. We are gonna do some summons on here. We're gonna do some stargazing. We're also gonna be looking at using our time emblems over here on the test server. So I'm hoping that we can build out the brand new um, Celestial Hero. We do have quite a bit of cards. We've been pushing a lot within the towers, guys. King's Tower, every 10 floors you do get cards out of here. Make sure without a doubt you are pushing this every single time you have the opportunity to, to continue building up those Stargazers. Also from the Celestials and the Hypogen here, um, Towers, you can actually get those Time Emblems, which I love to see, to build out a couple of heroes in here. Um, we did unlock Aziz last time, but we are still building right there. We are still building um, Awaken Taylene at this point. I feel like overall she, she's gonna be a bigger factor right now on the test server. We also do have some regular summons. We have some stones to use so we can continue to make our progression on this account. So here guys, we have 24, that is right guys. We have saved up 24 elite stones, um, getting most of these out of the Misty Valley. That is another place guys. The elite stones, the rare stones, also the loot, the heroes, the the everything that comes out of the Misty Valley, guys. Make sure that you are focusing on that. And the Misty Valley just launched today on the test server. Next couple days, it will be up on the main servers. So let's see what we get here, guys. Hopefully we get some lucky heroes. So we got Respin in there, we got Tylee in there, we got Granite, we got Oden, Ortho. So we did pick up a Celestial hero right there. Unfortunately, not the one we're looking for, but we did get double copies of Oden. We got Silas in there, Iran. So overall, not a very bad pull with the amount of heroes we had in there. Um, I feel like we're gonna have to really boost this up. Most of the accounts, I have boosted this up to 300. That is kind of the the spot, the, the sweet spot that I found. If you're not pushing um, high VIP levels, or if you're completely free to play, building this up a little easy, uh, makes it a little easier when you are building out a lot of different heroes to continue to build them out. Um, so Silas, we're actually adding a star right off the bat with the cop, the copy we just pulled. And I believe Oden were pretty, pretty much ready to build him as well. Or is he one? We already have him done. Oden is already done. Orthos, we pulled another copy of, just putting another one right down here. So let's get into the summons, guys. Again, we have 96 cards in here to use, which is gonna be awesome. We have 22 Temple of Time cards. Now out of here, again, we're looking for Taylene. Um, I buy these, I, I know, People are kind of on the fence both ways, but I do buy these out of the shop every day. I know it means that I'm going to get less summons. I'm gonna get less Stargazer summons, but if I'm not picking these up, if I'm not actually buying these out of the shop, there is zero chance to get the Awakened Heroes, guys, if you're not buying them out. Um, chances of actually getting copies of them are almost not nil um, until you get them out of events, things of that nature. But even at that point, to get enough copies of these heroes just out of summons, to, to really be effective, in my opinion, is not gonna happen for probably months, I would say at least months, um, to make the progression out of here. So we do get an elite right there, another copy of Gwen. I'm hoping that some of these scrolls in here are gonna yield us some of our legendary heroes, which I know, again, the probability of this is very low, but we can always hope, fingers crossed, there's another copy of a star. Already have her at two stars, so super excited to see that. Close to getting another card there. All right, guys, Stargazer. So we are looking for, that's right. We are looking for our brand new hero right there. Um, Audrey, I, I want to build her out on this account. I know it is completely free to play. It's going to take us a little bit of time, but I can push the towers, which I've been doing. Um, I need her in the Celestial Towers to do damage is really the main focus there. So I'm hoping, again, fingers crossed with a little bit of luck, we can pull some copies of her. Would be very cool to see. So Light Bear is right there. Love to see some diamonds as well. We haven't actually seen 30,000 diamonds in a considerable amount of time. Another light bearer card there. Either that or we're going to get completely shut out, guys, which we do not. There she is. So that is our unlock. One single pull right there. Guys, in the avatar, the avatar um, that we get from her is amazing looking, guys. It's got the star background, which I love. And even pulling the single one, I believe that does unlock. 10 stargazer cards so we can actually do a full another stargazer pull and i'm hoping again that we do get some copies of her 
There's a Graveborn card. So we've got about four more pulls here. We are into our Diamonds, guys. And there's another copy, so that will take her to Elite Plus. Going to take a big commitment to build her out. There's a Mauler card right there. Not getting too much luck. Our final pull here gives us another piece of gear. But I know up here we will be able to... Let's complete the copy of her. So we'll actually put that one copy of her together. Meaning that we'll be able to get a little bit out of the heroic ship. And I'm not sure if we're going to have enough or if we'll be able to um, build her out fast enough to get that. But there is our 10 Stargazer cards, guys. So that will entitle us to one more pull. Which could it be a copy? No, it is a bunch more resources. So overall, not too impressed. Didn't get anything from the temple. Got two copies out of Stargazer. And then, of course, only got a few elites in there. So unfortunately... Not really too much to boast about. Um, I, I was hoping we'd get a little bit luckier with the pulls, but unfortunately we did not. Oaken, we know we're looking out, looking to build quite a few heroes in here. Um, we have 53,000 right now. We do have quite a bit of furniture in there. I'm um, building out Scarlet. We just got Baba Yaga. We need more copies of Kren. And I'm actually going to drop out. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to finish out a star. So I'm going to use two of these on a star. I'm going to finish her out with the furniture bonuses. That way I can actually take her and drop her out of here. And then I'm going to go ahead and add. So Zorath we are picking up out of the out of the, um, the Challenger store right now. So I'm going to put Audrey in there. And we have Baba Yaga in there. Let's go ahead and equip these up. There we go. Nine of nine right there. Now it is into the summons, guys. Really hoping, fingers crossed, we can pull a couple copies in there. I know we got to build out um, a, a few heroes on this account, really looking at some of the meta formations. There's a copy for Damon, so I think we need one more copy, and Damon will be done as well, which would be very cool to see. Another mythic right there, which is King Arthur, just like that. I believe he is very close as well. There's another piece for Kren. Kren's another one that is pretty close to being done. No, Arthur didn't have any. So we had Eron at eight. So we could actually finish out both of them as well. And I think, I think I'm going to do that. So we have Eron. We have Damon right here. So let's see. Here is Eron. So we'll actually take him up to that nine of nine. Then we'll also do the exact same. I'm going to do that for Damon. So we can drop both of these heroes out, giving them both nine of nine furniture. I use both, both of them, and there they both are, guys. I do utilize both of them within the campaign stages, which I love doing. So first I look at dimensionals. Um, we have quite a few. So we have Albedo already at three. Prince of Persia we could definitely put in here. And here we already have nine of nine right there. Going to have to get a couple more copies. We know we're building out Taylene. We know we're building out um, Audrey. Um, here we built up Nara a little. A lot of those Greyborns have the nine of nine. We're building out Tassie. We could drop Mishka in here. Mishka is actually a hero we're focused on building. Here we already have Skarath at the three, which is good. And then, of course, we have Scarlet in here. So all of these guys, we just need to add a lot of furniture. 32,000 to go ahead and build another copy there for Kren. And Kren we're going to have to look at. And a double guy, Zorath and Raku. Very nice with the double furniture pull right there. Kren, I know, I think we need a couple more copies of. There's a copy for Scarlet. And back-to-back -back furniture, guys. Another piece for Scarlet. That gives her, I believe, the three-piece right there. Which is really required to push that Twisted Realm. Piece there for Tassie. We're using a ton of resources, guys. All of these different accounts, guys. We, we have used, between all of the faction accounts, an incredible amount of resources to build out these heroes. And again, we do want to get Scarlet up to that nine of nine as fast as we can um, because her nine of nine furniture does allow those eight extra attacks, which is absolutely crazy when it comes to the damage they're putting out. And we got another card right there, which is Audrey. So definitely building out a couple more for her that I'd like to see. Let's see where these heroes are at though. Cause I know Kren in here does have quite a bit of furniture. You can see, guys, we got to put Merlin in there. Um, we got a couple for Kren. We had Mishka in there. We have the twins in there. We have a lot of heroes to build, guys. Look at the amount of furniture we have. We have Zorath in there. We have Audrey in there. 
Um, only we have a couple pieces. I wish we could separate this or they would actually put it into um, hero kind, kind of segmented or separated by furniture. And then it looks like we have Silas in there as well, which I'm not sure exactly why we don't have furniture on Silas. A couple of these heroes, again, we're gonna have to make sure that we invite in here, that we throw some furniture on there. Baba Yaga is another hero, guys. Furniture has become incredibly important um, for heroes, guys. Absolutely, it has been just such an important aspect of AFK Arena. There's so many heroes, especially when it comes to the newer heroes um, that really do require a lot of the nine of nine build out, which I'm checking to just see if I do have all of these buildings unlocked or all of these heroes unlocked. There is Lucretia. And then there we go, we have Ainz. So we're still missing, I think a couple, I think we're missing a couple heroes in here, which is weird because it made me come here to claim my treasure. But I feel like there are a few more heroes. I'm gonna have to look through this and see exactly what we're, um, what we're missing in the Oak Inn. Because if those are pieces for Silas, then Silas is already nine of nine. And those are just bonus furniture, um, which it looks like they are guys. A lot of players don't realize that you can actually go further than the nine of nine furniture, um, which is really dependent on modifying the room itself. So all of these pieces of furniture can actually be strengthened um, that you can see by down here, the received healing. I'm gonna have to look at the three different size rooms. Um, look at what they do provide with strengthening because here's the attack. Attack with Silas is pretty good because he is based on attack. So we have health regeneration, we have health received, and we do have the attack rating. Um, since all of his heals are attack based, I'm gonna go ahead and just level up one of these to see where we where we can take this to. So you can see right here the three, six, the, the ones that he does have um, equipped onto him. And then these two are actually the duplicate pieces. So there we go, so the attack goes up and we'll throw one more on there. The attack goes even higher, guys. So now this is actually a plus two piece of furniture, which again, a lot of players don't realize or may not be aware that you can actually get a plus two furniture. It does go to plus three, so you can actually have a plus three furniture on your heroes, which is very cool to see. So guys, that starts out building Audrey. Um, Again, I'm, I'm super impressed with the damage she's doing. Um, I need the damage within the Celestial Tower. We're really struggling on there. We pushed all the way through 36, almost into chapter 37. So we are going to make a lot more progression on this. But the Joyous summons, summons is up, guys. Tomorrow, we're getting 30 more scrolls. The day after that, you're getting 50 scrolls, which is absolutely awesome to see. So guys, that'll do it for today's video over on the test server, cleaning up these accounts, gonna go through, use all my chests, get all the get all of the heroes ready, geared up, and set to make some progression within the campaign. So definitely log in, guys. This will be up on the global servers in just a couple days. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.